Hello, peaceful world. Here is another update on Ukraine for a brisket never season. Young mom and my precious poor baby right here. <laughs> Mia is on her third walk today. <laughs> this one is by far the best as far as I am concerned because uh, this is unbelievable. But this one is back finally. We haven't seen it for quite a while. Uh, you can see that the sky is blue and, and there are a lot of people there and having fun, enjoying the weather. So I've decided to take advantage of this um, opportunity. Uh, do you have some sun in my face? It makes it look uh, healthier and brighter. Uh, and uh, chat with you guys, chat with you guys. Uh, and uh, fill you in on uh, my progress uh, with Ukrainian. You know, yes, I am a Ukrainian, but Ukrainian uh, is not my mm, first language. I don't know. It's not my language. It was not my language of choice. Uh, I started switching to it only uh, after Mia's birth, and uh, I, I guess it was very confusing for her because uh, I've read that uh, babies uh, recognize the language that they hear. Uh, when their mom is pregnant, so when they are still in their mommy's bellies, they hear the language of their mother and then they are able to recognize it. And I suppose it was very confusing for my poor baby because I was speaking Russian and English and zero Ukrainian when I was pregnant. Uh, not zero Ukrainian, I could speak it in some public places and shops and so on because of the war, you know, the transition kind of started. But the true motivation is, is uh, right here, you know. Uh, because she's Ukrainian, I'm Ukrainian, and it, it's time to make things right. So, yeah. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I uh, told you that it is not super easy, uh, and um, sometimes I could get stuck, you know, trying to find the best word. Mm, uh, but now I, I'm noticing that uh, more and more mm, interesting words come up in my head. Um, effortlessly, <laughs> you know, they just do, which makes me happy. Uh, and another uh, most important evidence of my success, I believe, or more of my way to success, uh, is uh, me being angry. Uh, when I was watching Charlie and I was giving him a bath, which is uh, such an ordeal, which is uh, such a challenge that you cannot imagine, you know, I undress fully. Uh, I'm, I'm ready uh, to stop the bleeding, you know, I know where my peroxide is, uh, I know that I can cut him, so, you know, I'm on the dial to the vet. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's a very stressful event for all of us. And uh, usually, I, I'm not proud of this, but I can't scream at him, because uh, I just feel so helpless, and, and he's so annoying, and I, I want to help him, because he has a skin condition, and that time, uh, you know, he still stands, uh, and that's how I got that beard thing that I told you about. Anyways, I can swear, and I can scream at my dog when I wash him, um, even though I love him dearly, and uh, somehow, absolutely, uncontrollably, I don't know, uh, unconsciously, I was doing it in Ukrainian guys. If swearing in Ukrainian doesn't prove my success, doesn't show my progress, I don't know what does, you know. But uh, I was really surprised to notice, you know. So I'm, I'm a little proud, I'm happy. Uh, and uh, Ukrainian doesn't um, come with so much effort. Now, it's very easy to speak it with Mia, and uh, I think this is one of my main exercises. So Mia will be like this, you know, riding that, that, that car is a little girl. And I guess Mia will be like this very soon. So yeah, I think uh, Mia has helped me a lot because uh, she is my main listener. <laughs> she, she is the main person I talk to. Uh, not only at home, but also when we walk, I always describe things to her. And uh, I, I use it as a chance to practice my Ukrainian and try to remember, to Google, you know, some words. Uh, and it's fun, you know. Now I, I'm, I swear in Ukrainian. I'm proud of it. That, that, that shows you how, how uh, deep a connection I have with this language. And yeah, yeah. So I guess that is the main thing regarding the language, but um, uh, I, I am curious about Mia's language future, 
and how I want to teach her, how I want to raise her. Because once again, I, I do think that she should know the language of the enemy. And that one should be acquired kind of naturally, you know, in her surroundings. Still, there are many people speaking it. I do not know, like, I had this plan to speak, I still have it, I guess. To speak Ukrainian until she is half a year, until she's six months old, so that I, first of all, have a chance to master it, kind of, to brush it up. Uh, and then once she's six months old, I want to either mostly speak English to her, uh, or at least 50 50, how to do it. I don't know, I need to do some research. Uh, in case some of you, my, my dear Scotty people and, and other acquaintances, uh, are bilingual, um, get in touch with me. Let me know how, how you handle it in your family. Because currently, I, I don't know. I need to do some research, really. I haven't read about this yet. Uh, I've only read that this is uh, not a problem uh, whatsoever and uh, kids pick up uh, two languages naturally, easily. You don't need to do anything super special for it. Uh, so I hope that will be our way. But now she's almost five months old. And I realized that uh, six months old, her getting six months old, uh, seems absolutely impossible. It seems so far uh, just to, what feels like two weeks ago, you know. I thought I would never have such a, um, big baby, you know, introducing solid foods and uh, uh, have I told her that she has already rolled over? She has rolled over and that's one of the reasons she can sleep better uh, and she will grow soon and, and now that is that moment when I wanted to do the language switch uh, with her um, is also here, so many things and it's so fast, you know, and, and, and it's marvelous, it is marvelous. So, yeah, uh, it is sunny, I'm very happy about it, uh, no matter what is happening in other parts of, of my life, but you know, <laughs> uh, this is my moment of joy, uh, I'm trying to be in the here and now, here and now it is sunny, the sky is blue, uh, my baby is sleeping peacefully, uh, and yeah, why not to be glad, why not to be glad? Um, I hope all of you will have a wonderful day uh, and I'll talk to you soon.